the end. How far does it go? How vast and empty is the dimension? How much money can I make from the end? Hey guys, how's it going? This is Inocopes here, and welcome back to the Nexus SMP. Oh boy, I'm so glad to be back on the server, you have no idea. Oh man, if you can't tell, I've got a pair of Elytra, and I basically heard that everybody went to the end and all that kind of stuff, and I bought this pair of wings from Sarge, and here's a clip of me doing that uh, now. There you go, Sarge. And thank you very, very much. <laughs> so, basically, I'm here, and I've got a lot of resources with me because we are actually going to be starting work on the server Ender Ender. And tying it into what I said at the very beginning of the episode, how much money can we make from the end? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is what I'm going to figure out because every time I built an Ender Ender, everybody just uses it as much as they want to. It's always free, always open to everybody on the server. And I'm thinking this time I'm putting it behind a paywall. This time, I'm thinking for every time you want to use the Ender Ender, you have to pop a diamond in there, and the door will open for you. That is my thought. I will also have an emergency entrance in case an Enderman slaps your ass and kills you, and you have to go in and get your stuff, so you don't have to pay another diamond to get back in or whatever. But I think it's going to be kind of cool and to see just how many times people use the Ender Ender throughout the season. And of course, I might also do a ticketed entry where you could buy like a pass that lets you in as many times as you need for a set rate of a lot of diamonds. So we're going to see how well that goes. I think that's going to be an amazing idea, but let's hop in the end. Okay, we are here. There's boys, boys and girls. Uh oh, Did someone set up a temporary ender ender. Or is this a massive... Hold on, hold on, I got rockets. Did someone set up a temporary Ender Ender? Or is this a pathway? Nope. <laughs> it's just a pathway to nothingness. Okay, well, the work has been done for me, ladies and gentlemen. We are really far away. This is 422. And how many blocks is it to here. Oh god. Oh gosh, this is a, a a really long pathway actually. That is 300 and something blocks away. The Ender Ender only has to be 150 blocks from the edge of the island. So, let's say right here. This is, this looks to me as the, we'll go here. This is the very edge, 106, meaning we need to be at 256 on this axis. Let's just get down to it. 256, right here. I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff ready. Right here is far enough away from the island to where, as you can see, no Endermen are spawning. And all of the spawn rates are going to be out here. So this is going to be the very edge of the 30 b 33 by 33 platform which i'm going to construct up in the sky to create our ender ender so i'm going to go ahead and get some materials together here i need to figure out which one of these has my crafting table in it so i can make some more of these stone slabs actually you know what where's my stone cutter i know i had one is it in another box oh did i leave it oh all oh. that'll be okay i'll just use my crafting table okay so this right here, I'm just going to go ahead and make the edge marker here. That way I know, hey, this right here is going to be the edge of the platform. And this is where I'm going to be putting my things. So let's just chuck that back in here and let's grab that back. Grabbed it back. All right. So I'm going to start kind of planning out where the center of this place is going to be. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This block is going to be the center of our Ender Ender. And this is going to be the very edge. And it's going to go out 
uh, 15 blocks in every direction from the center. And we've got to go up, I believe, 43 blocks, because that's how many blocks it takes for an Enderman to drop down half a heart from fall damage. And yeah, basically, I've got this thing all set up, ready to go. <laughs> I've got all the blocks that I need. I'm going to build the base farm, and yeah, let's go ahead and get that thing done. And then after I build the farm and get it working, we'll build the security system that allows people to pay to get in. I think that's going to be really cool. I have finished the actual farm portion of the Ender Ender. And all this is, is the regular farm. And you'll see we've got a torch tower there and we've got a ladder. And all that's going to do is ladder lets us go up to the top and do any maintenance that we need to do. And that torch tower actually toggles the farm. It turns it on and off. It allows you to enable some torch lights that we have up here. So let me fly up here really quick. It allows us to enable these lights here, these uh, redstone lamps. I couldn't think of the name of that for some reason. It turns these on and off, allowing um, Endermen to spawn on them. So let's fly back down and turn on the farm so we can show that it actually works. And then I'll also show the Ender Pearl dispenser system. So down here, this is the killing chamber. We'll go ahead and turn on the farm. And this right here, if you right click the comparator, it turns on the dispenser. That's the ender pearl get ridding you know mechanism disposal system and so as we kill endermen we get their ender pearls and stuff like that it'll get sent through the hoppers underneath and go into a dropper which is facing into the void and get sent into nothingness and so someone can come by and turn on the farm whenever they want to and kill all the endermen that they need, get all the levels that they need. And over here we've got an enchanting setup with a grindstone and an anvil and a crafting table. You have to bring your own lapis. I'm thinking about putting a place for a chest for some lapis though. And then here is some storage of ender pearls. If you need ender pearls, there will always be a double chest full of ender pearls here for you. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn the farm off and demonstrate that the farm actually is going off. So once the lights come on, mobs stop spawning, and then thus they will stop falling. Perfect. And now the farm is off. And once this thing completely empties out of ender pearls, the dispenser, you can just switch it off by doing this. And the dispenser goes off. I'm going to leave it on to let those ender pearls filter out. All right, so now that all the ender pearls are gone, the whole farm is reset and ready for the next person to use. And yeah, now I'm just going to build the turnstile area, which is going to be in this area here, that will allow people to pay to come in and get to the farm and, you know, also use a pass that will allow them permanent entry into the farm. So I'm going to work on that mechanism now, and I'll be back with you guys when I finished it. All right, guys, this thing is officially done. Oh, man. Ah, this took a little bit of time to do, but I'm so proud of this build. Not the prettiest thing in the world. In fact, you have to get a little wet to get inside. But here we are. This is the checkpoint entrance. Uh, welcome to the Ender Ender. One diamond per entry. And then this little spot right here, this is where the pass holder door is going to be. But for right now, it just says coming soon. So to enter, you'll throw a diamond at the carpet. And as you can see, it's an iron door. You can't really get into it, blah, 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 blah. You throw a diamond, the door opens. And what the cool thing is, even if the server lags out, the door will stay open for as long as, you know, you stand out here. The minute you walk in, the door will shut behind you. So, blammo. As you can see, the door is shut. And now you can see that you can leave at any time. The barrel here actually doesn't store anything, but I have to have it here for reasons. And it says, are you sure you are ready to leave? Reentry is a diamond. Ender chest is provided to prevent multiple trips. And as you can see, I put in here an ender chest. So you can access your diamonds and stuff in here. And the toggle switch and the dispenser, I've already shown you guys all of that. Let me show you guys how I access the diamonds. So... Out this wall, down the water here, this barrel contains all of the diamonds I make. And as you can see, nobody's entered the Ender Ender as of yet, but that is perfectly fine. 
But yeah, that's the really only way to get down there. And I'm actually, if we come back down here, you can see it's all perfectly safe. No Enderman can teleport down here or pick up any of these blocks because it's not big enough for them to teleport to. So it's perfectly safe and Enderman proof. I won't lose any blocks and the door won't break and is perfectly one entry only. As you can see, it doesn't stay open for those who walk across it. It only stays open if you chuck a diamond in. Very, very cool uh, turnstile based like door. I'll leave you guys a link in the description below to a video. I forget the creator's name, but that video is the creator of this design and it's really freaking cool. I'm also gonna be using the ticket design for the pass holders as well. So make sure you go check out that video. Give the guy some love if you wanna build it in your own creations. But yeah, this thing is awesome. Really, really cool. Well guys, that's gonna have to do it for me on this episode of the Nexus SMP. I know it was quite a short episode, but you know, I don't have a lot of time these days. And I'm kind of impressed that I was able to get that Ender Ender done this quickly. So, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to hit a like button. And if you really enjoyed it, then make sure to subscribe. And uh, click that bell icon to be notified of when I upload. And remember guys, you can always unsubscribe if you stop liking my content. So, keep that in mind. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!